Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are returning. In today's video, I am going to be doing a planner haul as well as going over my 2025 planner lineup. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, guys, again, I am Brandy Janae. Welcome if you are new in on this channel. I like to do planner content, but primarily I am a budget girly This just trying to completely plan her life to be more successful, whether it be personally or financially. Um, so if any of those things sound interesting to you, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any videos. Okay, so before we get into the haul, I would like to read this for you. It says, faith is the art of holding on to things your reason has once accepted in spite of your changing moods. Ooh, y'all, I needed to read this. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, I needed to read this. <laughs> because sometimes I get into a place where, you know, things are really good and I'm really you know, excited about it. And I just know that it's right. And then my, my brain, my brain, my moods, my, my feelings start to get scared. And I get into like that fight or flight mode. Um, and you know, and I do, I honestly, I have a tendency to, to run. <laughs> so I definitely needed to read that today. Okay. So I have this cute little envelope. And this is from Boutique Charms, Boutique Charms and um, The Right Place Plans did like a collab. And so I went ahead and got a couple things. So here is her card and she is on Etsy. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel. I'm not sure, um, but she is on Etsy. So I got this freebie, which is super cute. And then this is the one from Right Place Plans that I got because of the collab. And she sent this, which is super cute. I had planned on making these and just never got to it. <laughs> and then I'm assuming this one is also a freebie, which is very cute. My invoice, of course. All right, and then I'm like, what did I even order? Oh yes, the Hello Kitty one. Ooh, that is really packaged. Okay, y'all, so all I see is her Instagram handle. I don't see YouTube, you guys. So it's like a fall Hello Kitty. She's in the cutest little like fall sweater. And then of course it has the coffee. So this is just one of the like dangles that I thought would be really, really cute in one of my binders. Oh my gosh, that is so precious. So yeah, super excited about that. Oh, I love the little bow. That's so cute. So yeah, if you are interested in, you know, charms and things like that, definitely check out Boutique Charms. It came very, very quickly. Um, so I was thrilled about that. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay. And then this is from, um, oh, not Black Mountain Place. Sorry. This is from The Right Place. So I did order from both shops. Obviously, since they were doing the collab together. And, oh, I got another little coffee charm. That's fun. So I am going to be doing a mini, like, 2,500 subscriber giveaway soon. Um, I will probably announce it in one of my budget videos, though. So if you are interested in being part of the video, make sure you watch those as well. Um, but I think I'm going to add one of these since I do have two. I will go ahead and add one of those. 
So she sent me the Boutique Charms card again. This is the freebie for the Right Place Plans. Super cute. Love that. And then, oh, some more freebies. Oh, that's cute. Some little vacuum ones, Facebook icons. Oh my gosh, those are cute. All right. Okay. And this is what I ordered. So I just wanted some like, so these go, I'll use these on my daily pages. Um, so I just wanted some like small pieces of a kit because I found that I don't really use the whole thing so here's some deck i think i got this this is mixed up okay yeah so this i love so cute and then i got the journaling kit which also matches and then this these are the dates that go along with this so yeah i'm going to use these in like my night out in the daily parts and then i thought this one was really cute it's like the journaling page. I didn't get the washi for this one. And then just the deco. So, so cute. Can't wait to use these in my planner within the next couple weeks. I'm kind of focusing on like pumpkins for the month of October. So these will be perfect to add in with my pumpkin theme. All right, so that is the right place plans. Scoot that over to the side. And last, but certainly not least, I have my sub kit from Sweet Kawaii. Oh, good, it's another reading one. Yay! All right, look at my Poe. So cute. So he's all snuggly in his little blanket. Just one more chapter. Biscuit and Connie. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at the shelves. Oh! I love it. Oh, that's kind of like a spooky read with a little ghost. <laughs> so it's called Bookish. So you get, that's the page one. Here's page two. And I do get the journaling sub just because I really like these boxes. Oh my gosh, I love the shelves. So cute. Oh, I guess these are like the habit trackers. You guys, this is so cute. Just one more chapter. Never judge a book by its movie. I know that's right. And then book hoarder. The colors on this are really pretty too. So cute. Page seven. Page eight. Nine. So cute. I love, love, love these boxes. Page ten. Here's your day headers, so cute. And then you get your two sheets of washi. So they are the same, but I love that the deco on the bottom is always different. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, I don't, I don't think I've ever, ever <laughs> been disappointed by a sub kit from Sweet Kawaii. So, so excited about that, love it. Okay, then also in Happy Mail, I did get my new planner. So this is what I'm going to be using for 2025. This is my journal and my wellness planner. And then I do use the monthly pages for just like, you know, future planning and things like that. So I am so excited about this. However, this particular one, I am going to be changing. I'm sending this one back and she's going to send me a different color. Um, this one has some like pages stuck together, so she is going to send me another one, so I'm very grateful for that. 
Um, and then this is the one that I currently have, like the color that I currently have. The other one I think is gray that's coming, I think is gray. So I'm going to show you this one just in case you are new to my channel and you have not seen this. She did change the cover a bit because um, I think my other one says like owl paper or night owl or something. I don't know. But she did change it to a planner journal and this is by Owl Paper. Um, so you have this super cute inside and then your, I call it the sticky page, which I typically glue this in because I don't like that it's stuck. Um, then you have just a blank page, which you can use in, as an index here. And both books are the same. This one is the July through December, and this is the January through June. All right, so then it goes into a goal setting page. If you'd like to use that, you have your yearly overview, which if I'm not mistaken, this part is new. I don't have my other planner next to me. Hold on, let me just grab it. Okay, so this is my current owl paper. Um, yeah, so before I had the index, goal setting, and then it went, into this page and then yep so I guess this was like the yearly overview before and then it went straight into your month so yeah so that part is an addition so your yearly overview which well, she did give you the entire year so I'm assuming that's in both books and then you go into your months each month has a page in between which I think is really cool because sometimes I like to add those jumbo stickers and stuff in there um or if I have, you know, anything like super important that I need to take note of, I like having that space. And then once you get through with December's monthly, then you go into your weeklies, which are all, you know, back to back weeklies. And then once you get through your weeklies, you just have your blank pages. So your blank pages in this book go from page 88 all the way to page 320. So this much of this book is blank. What I like about this particular journal and the reason why I'm using it again <laughs> is because one, I absolutely love the size of this. Like it is literally the perfect on the go size planner. It fits in just about every single bag that I carry. And even adding this cover to it did not, you know, bulk it up in a way that it is no longer functional. Um, the problem that I have now <laughs> is that I have actually become a journal girl. So in the beginning, when I started doing this in the back, like everything was just real kind of fluffy and cute. And so I didn't mind, you know, carrying this around. Um, and I also wasn't using it to track like my, you know, physical or health kind of information. And so, you know, I was comfortable taking this. Now, <laughs> my journaling has gotten a little more advanced, a little more juicy. So I'm not really too excited about carrying it anymore. So I kind of have a decision to make um, for, you know, upcoming year. Do I want this to go back to being just a regular daily planner, like, you know, my on the go planner because of the size, or do I want to keep it for what I've been using it for? And it'll just have to be a stay at home thing. So I thought <laughs> that I had gone down to just using one planner, but now after looking at it, I'm like, I don't really want, cause I do like to show, you know, if I'm out and about, I do like to show people my planner and allow them to like, you know, flip through and look at all the beautiful decor that I have done. But I don't want my journal pages being viewed. You know what I'm saying? So especially when you go to like planner meetups or conferences or things like that, like we all kind of pass our planners around so people can see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that is going to be a decision that I will have to make right now. In the meantime, I found an old Hobonichi Weeks that I purchased, I guess, at some point last year and forgot about. Um, so I'm going to be using that like for my on the go um, because, yeah, like I said, I don't want I don't want this to be 
for public consumption. So you guys will see me like decorated or whatever, but no like after the pins just because it is, you know, like again, like my personal health information and then my personal thoughts and feelings are in the journal part. So, yep. <laughs> so I thought that I had my lineup complete until last night, especially last night's journaling session was like, ooh, I don't want this outside. So there we go. But anyway, so I got these two um, together and then she did send this pen with it. It's the Uni Jetstream, which is a really nice pen. So I'm excited about this for next year. And then last but not least, well, at least for now, this will be my budget planner for the fall or for January, so cute, so, so cute. I got this in, um, Happy Planner did like a, a box. And so I got this planner. I got some extra stuff in here that I'm put going to put. It is an undated planner, so I'm going to, you know, start working on it soon. Um, but again, just in case you missed it. So basically in this book, I will be using the monthly calendar and then these pages will be covered up by the stickers that I am using in my current planner. So these stickers will replace um, these pages. But, you know, I like having a, one book that's all bound and things like that. Um, so yeah, so the stickers will cover up these two pages and then these pages here are be where I map out like, you know, um, what bills I have for which week. Um, sorry, I keep flipping back and forth. I'll show you because it's hard for me to explain. So like I do this just so that I can keep track of like what the bills look like um, per month. So this is kind of how I organize these thoughts. And then... Yeah, so then the only other page I would need, okay, so we have the calendar, the budget stickers, these pages will be kind of like where I organize the, you know, the plans from the calendar, because I do like to have them written out. Um, and then these remaining pages, like more than likely, I will probably just remove um, just so that I can slim line this book a little bit. Cause right now it is on the classic rings because it is a full year. It may have to stay on the classic rings, but if I can reduce it down to like smaller, like one inch rings, then I will. Um, I do love that this has the like, you know, vegan leather cover or whatever, vote whatever this is, but I do love that it has the hard cover and it's just beautiful. It's beautiful to look at. It'll be beautiful to, you know, you guys know I'm a stitch girl. So <laughs> I love it. So yeah, this is as of right now today, <laughs> my 2025 planner lineup. Again, I may or may not be adding in one additional planner just for my purse. It may not even be a fancy one. It may just literally be like one of those ones you pick up from Walmart, like or Target or whatever, because that's really all I need. Um, but you know, we'll see. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.